Hello everybody, it is Margaret and welcome to my channel Texas Gal Treasures and today I'm going to open up this jewelry jar. I haven't done a jewelry jar video in oops, quite a long time and I've got a number of them saved up. I just recently bought some more from Savers and I know it's really close uh, because my other tripod got weird and so I didn't, yeah, so we're going to have to do it this way. So it'll get better once I've opened the jar and can dump things out. But hello everybody, I am live if you're watching later. This is a jar I got. And I, I realize now that I put uh, Goodwill jewelry jar, but I, I got it at Savers. I got it at Savers for $14.99 and we're going to dive into it. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I One of the things I like to sell on eBay well, let me just start over. I like to pick things up at um, Goodwill, Savers, um, thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, and I make money um, to support me and my kids by selling on eBay and stuff like that. So this is a jar I picked up, and if you're wondering like, oh, what is this? And I get this question all the time, where can I get a jewelry jar? Well, I got this at Savers. Goodwill sometimes has them. If you can't get them near you, then you um, can also get them like on Shop Goodwill, Thread Up does mystery boxes, all kinds of places like that. And let's see, you sell enough to um, only, I sell on Etsy as well. I think that's your question. And Fat Elvis says, where is there savers in Texas? Yeah, there, uh, there weren't any in Houston, but I'm in Austin, so there are some here, which is great. And I just want to say, before we get started, we're going to address the golem in the room. I let my kids pick my nail color, okay? And I know, just imagine this, this creature crawling out of a, a cave pond that hasn't seen the light of day in at least 32 years, and I realize that my hands look like a zombie that has been spent way too long in a, in a pond or a pool of some sort, getting really wrinkly and and raisiny and apparently white fingernails. And I don't like it, but I let my kids choose. So if they were in earshot, I would say that they did a great job, <laughs> of course. Okay, so hello. Okay, let me check in the chat real fast because I am live. So I will be talking to the chat um, throughout the <laughs> throughout the, the video. So if that's not your jam, then check out another video because I don't do this all the time anymore. Okay, you don't think I look like a zombie? I do, but that's cool. Thank you for saying so. <laughs> Okay, hi everybody. Um, Indigo Periwinkle, yes. Uh, hello, Lee from Round Rock. Awesome. Uh, does your that would be super cool if they glowed in, glowed in the dark? But no, they don't. They don't. I can just pretend like I'm a zombie opening this jar. Okay, anyway, zombies are hot right now, right? <laughs> They're supposed to have glitter, Paula. They have like a little t the 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 picture of them or the whatever little sample. They were glitterier. Anywho's okay, and then this like I said, I got I need to get a new tripod because my other one broke All right, we're gonna do this. Let me dump this. Oh, 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 okay, so The thing about jars if you're gonna do it What you want to do is try to pick a jar where you can find something you see something in the jar to make your money back and as I said I spent $14.99 on this jar and When I was looking through it one of the things I saw was this I think it's gonna be a B but then I also saw some cool watches in here. There's a cool watch there. And watch, if you, you're gonna be blinded by a, you know, this, right? I mean, it's big and it's obviously cheap. It's a big old keychain of a golf club. But if you look right above it, cause this is like blinding you right, but look right there. Then you can see the frame of something that looks like it's probably sterling silver. And if you tilt it, maybe turquoise. So you got to really look because at first my eyes were drawn to this and I was like, ugh, cheap junk. And then I was like, bling, bling, bling. Hello, hello, what are you? So there's that. And then this cool watch, I can't see the face of it, but it was really thin. And it's got that like black... Um, knob on it and I know there's a better name for that but I can't think of what it is right now okay <laughs> I do love my kids I love them uh okay so here we go Debbie says she just bought a jewelry jar at a local thrift antique mall oh I have known people to do that all right and my uh, we're gonna my neighborhood's gonna be having a garage sale in a few weeks like a neighborhood wide and so I'm gonna let my kids make some jewelry 
know if they're going to make jewelry jars or jewelry bags. I'm cutting it open now. Um, so to sell. So that's another place, you know. And I actually did go to a garage sale where a lady had some bags of jewelry. Um, I, I didn't end up buying any of her bags, but I did buy some other stuff from her. Okay, let's dump it. We're just going to dump it on out. Hello. I do have some loose beads in here. I can see that already. Hi, Sonia. I haven't done one of these in a while, and I'm really trying hard not to peek at that. We're not going to peek. We're not peeking yet. Okay, I'm pulling all the stuff out onto my tray. i got a box or something over here. Good, it's not Tic Tacs. Okay, Crystal says, got lucky here the other day on Shop Goodwill. Got brooches for about 41 cents each. Sweet. I've got like four good Shop Goodwill um, boxes over here that I need to unbox for y'all. I haven't even opened them myself um, because I haven't. Okay, and now I got tape stuck to me. Okay, so there's that. Are we ready? So first off, it looks like a bunch of junk, right? $14.99 for a bunch of junk. How we wanna do this? How we wanna do this? So I guess what I'll do, maybe I should have thought this through before I dumped it, is, um, Kayla says, hi, I saw a golf bag keychain. Sold quite a few of those kinds. They go pretty quickly. Is that right? And I, you know what? There are people that are just really into golf. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to slide this, and then I'll pull things out from it. I'm going to, oh, maybe that was a bad idea. I had everything set up, but that's okay. I'll put it right here. All right. There we go. Yeah, I kind of pulled back on Poshmark because I just, yeah, I wasn't doing so. I don't have the time to do that. As a homeschooling mom and just like, that's all I got is time is of the, is of the essence. Okay. Hi, Lydia. Okay. Let's see. It takes time. Fat Elvis Good says, I can't get my site selling enough yet. How do you get your eBay and Etsy going each month? I I definitely, it took time to get things built up, and, and there is something to be said for listing consistently. That's for sure. I do notice when I don't list as much that my sales kind of slump off. Um, all right. And as many of you know, my sister likes to do things with beading. So loose beads, um, if they're like glass beads or things that look cool, I'll save them for her. And she's also a beekeeper, so I'll save that for her too. Okay, Oop, there goes my loop. All right, so we've got this little bead here, um, this little bee, and I know the lighting is not amazing. The light, the tripod I normally use has the light built into it, and it's not working. All right, so things like this, these kind of beads, just kind of like randomness beads, I'm gonna throw back in the jar for right now. And these will end up like in a craft lot. I've got, I need to finally make this craft lot. It's it's probably pounds and pounds of jewelry. Okay, these are cute. They're like little keys. Look, I mean, I think those would sell really well. But like I said, my sister's been doing some really cute stuff beading. And, and so she might could use those. How many items do I have listed today? I think I've got, depending on it's eBay or Etsy, um, one of them has about 300 items. The other is probably in the 275 range. So that's that's how much I've got going. All right, so here we've got this really cool watch. That's really cool. I don't, like here you can see where it's like the coating has scraped off, so it's not gonna be like gold gold. Um, but it looks like an Omega, is that right? Can y'all see that? So if it's a real Omega watch, well, it's missing its little oh knob. And then the back part right there doesn't say anything on it, so that makes me suspicious. However, I might, I need to order a watch toolkit. Hang on, that thing looks like it wants to pop off. All right, maybe I'll deal with that later. But I'll have to look this up because there are certain brands of watches that even if it's, um, broken or not you know it's it's repairable there's somebody it's still worth something to somebody as far as parts uh, that they can repair it so there's that okay i'm gonna set that to the side and hang on <laughs> i'm looking over here in the chat online auctions are addicting this is so true um uh, fine age fine age fine's been bidding on shop goodwill like crazy won a couple of great lots that's great I'm looking back to see if I missed anything in the chat. Because I do want to talk to y'all today. It's been a while. 
Hello, Ginger Witch. Hello, hello. And... Da, 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 da. Okay, and yeah, and I should be taking pictures today. I took a bunch of pictures the other night. And since I, you know, like I say, I, I'm a stay, you know, stay at home homeschooling mom, I have to usually do a lot of that after the kids go to bed. So, all right. So, how do I, uh, that Elvis, how do I price these items? Well, partially it's got, partially I'll look on eBay and see what I find. All right, so this is all stretched out. So that's going to go in a lot. Remember, I'm trying to make my $14 back here. There is a... I wonder if I can zoom it in. Will it zoom in for me or you as well? Let's see. Did it zoom in? There we go. Okay, that's better. Okay, so there's this uh, pendant, but it is missing a stone, so that's gonna go into my craft lot. So far, I've only found stuff for my sister. Good for her, not so good for me. <laughs> okay, oh, this is cool. Okay, now, okay, what are you? All right, this is a Charming Charlie tag, but I'm looking at these stones to see, because they're not plastic. I'm trying to see what they are. They're definitely iridescent, purpley. They look like some kind of mica. I mean, if you're into geology, um, the way that they're like shaving off, but it seems odd that they would use that so i don't know let's see if they're magnetic now oh, the chain is so i'm not 100 percent sure on these i mean i can definitely look up charming charlie stuff because that's a dime a dozen but for some reason those little crystal things look really cool to me and it doesn't quite look like a charming charlie it almost looks like somebody took a charming charlie chain and then modified it because this part with this wire wrapping does not look like Charming Charlie style. You know, cause then look at this, it's like that. Tell me what you think. Maybe it is, maybe I don't get into Charming Charlie as much, but it almost looks like they took the chain and then added stuff to it, which is, cause then this is, miss maybe it's missing these stones on this side, I don't know. I'm gonna give it to my sister because she's into like crystals and stuff, she might be able to use those for something. All right, wow, this is gonna be my sister's jewelry jar, apparently. Okay, um, going back to the chat. And yeah, it looks like a lot of stuff came out of the jar, Diana says, and she says, hope you have something valuable. Yes, thank you. Let's see, if you start one, uh, oh yeah, totally. Consistency is key. Busy Lizzie says, found a big hug mug for 25 cents yesterday. Oh, cool. I hope they're still selling for, for a good profit um, because they, you know, fluctuate. But yeah, sweet. That's been a long time ago. I feel you can easily sell the keychain for 10 to 12 bucks. Yay. Oh, yeah. That's a big leap into breaking even. Okay, so here's a stone too. Some, some sort of um, probably like a jadeite or something. Maybe I have to do my, I have to go on some of the stones like I can guess like I know adventurine is green, jadeite. There's a few different green stones, but um, I get mixed up, so I have to go look online to make sure. Um, but that's cool. It's just a cabochon that somebody could use. So this is going to go into my sister's pile. Go, go for it, Elaine. She's getting all the stuff. <coughs> Pardon me. And Debbie says, I have a watch similar to that one, the Omega one. Um, Omega's a good... Let me pull it out while I'm talking about it. Uh, she's saying, Omega is a good watch make. Definitely, yeah. Oh, you've seen some on the Roadshow. Cool. I love Antiques Roadshow. I haven't watched it in a little bit. Okay. Oh, yeah. Kayla says, coming from someone who makes jewelry and upcycles things, definitely looks handmade. I think my sister is going to be able to use those. She's, uh, if you know what these are, some people don't know. Um, she's been making malas and doing other stuff like that. She's learning some interesting stuff. Anyway, so blah, 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 blah. And there we go. Okay, moving on. Okay, just checking in the chat. Okay, so here we go. Again, this also looks like maybe something somebody made because this cross, which is missing a stone here, is on this chain or necklace that's got all sorts of different kinds of silver tone beads and stuff like that. 
So I could take this off and try to sell the necklace without it, but I'll probably just put it in the craft lot. Ah, you know, she, Kayla, she does, she, she's on Instagram, but she's thinking it cause she's got her Instagram set up with her beekeeping stuff. And she's thinking of switching it for her, um, for her other stuff, her yoga stuff and uh, everything. So I'll have to ask her and I'll let you know. If you've seen any of my sister's videos, she's, or stuff she's done with me. She's just, amazing. I just love her. Anyway, okay, so we've got an earring with a Howlite bead here that I'll set to the side. It might be Howlite, it might be turquoise. Just, I'm looking at the, the crack in it. I'm looking for white, because if it's a dyed Howlite piece, you know, there'll be some white. I'm gonna set it to the side, because that's suspicious. Suspicious as in, I need to look closer to see if it's really turquoise. Okay. Then there's this piece, it's hinged, so it looks like it should open. And is it, oh, there we go. Okay, it's opening like so. So this will probably go into a craft lot too. That's pretty cute. And let's see, Kayla says, um, it's, oh yeah, it's easy to create an alternate business account. I totally do too. I have like, I have a homeschool account. I have a, a Texas Gal Treasures on Instagram. I'm not as active on it as I should be, though. But that's just me. I'm just busy, I guess. I'm busy. Okay. Okay. Come on, you. So here we've got this orange. Let me zoom it out a little bit. Okay. Yeah, she's getting all her hours to be a yoga instructor, and she's learning a lot about stuff that I never knew about. All right, so this is a pretty cool necklace. I mean, it's probably just like a one that you would get at a place like Charming Charlie or something like that. Uh, but the color being orange, it's not one that you see a, a super ton of. So I might try to sell that. Um, even if it's 12 bucks, that's a lot, you know, with the golf keychain, that could make up the sale for the jar. So that's awesome. So I will sell that. Trying to find things, finding things in colors that you don't see all the time is a, a good tip. So here we've got just some pieces. So as I go through these, what I'm looking at, zooming in here, like these plastic pearls, those will go in my craft lot. But here, hang on, I'm clicking them. I don't think those are plastic. Do you hear them? Hmm. I mean, I don't think they're really real pearls, but they're, I think they're glass. Can you hear? Yeah. So, yeah, those will, these ones will go in, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and give them to my sister uh, because she's been making stuff, so. Anyway, if they were just plastic, I'd throw them in. Uh, same thing with the glass stuff, I give that to my sister. And then she's she's been wanting anything with like natural stone, so this green is also gonna go to her. Wow, see this this black one is plastic, and I'll give her the wood. Wow, this is really, Elaine, where are you? You're getting lots of stuff. Hang on, it's rolling away. All right, we've got a solo earring here, which would, I, I'll probably just make an earring lot if I have a bunch of solo earrings. Um, oh, thanks, Nathalia, I'm glad. Okay, here is, let's see, what do we make of this? We've got, it looks like an M necklace, pendant rather, and we've got a couple dates on it. WLJ, we've got 667 to 378. This down here says Sterling, I think, which is why I have a loop. I'm almost positive that's what that says. Yep, that says Sterling down there. And then on the other side, it's an M. Or is it supposed to be a W? Because look, on this side, it's a W. However, for it to be a W, the, the loop is on the wrong side. Or does that matter? What think you, friends? And is this black stuff just tarnished? Yes, this black stuff can come off. I can clean that off. And interesting. I mean, I could easily put put a uh, chain on this and make it an M necklace and just have it an interesting something on the back. T 
WLJ. I've never seen anything like this before. Let me know what you guys think. Um, just it being sterling silver. And I can say like, an, if somebody put that on a chain and had an M, shoot, I could wear it. I'm an M, right? As a Margaret. It's a nice piece too. It's cool, it's unique. Okay, so that's cool. I'm gonna find out a little bit more about that. We've got some glass beads here. I'll give that to my sister. Oh, this is a really pretty piece. Um, again, another green stone, just cabochon, that again, wow. Elaine, paging Elaine, we got some more of these, look, there's some more. There's all of these. Um, she's gonna get, oh look, here's more, wow. <laughs> Let's just pull them all out, because we're just gonna, we know where they're going, so we're gonna pull them all out. I mean, but these would sell if I'm, you know, if I wanted to make a lot of these or just, or not, just sell them. There, ah, I bumped my tripod. Someone's birth and death dates. Yeah, I, I wonder if there's, um, you know, if that's, if there's a collector for that kind of stuff. There probably is. I'll have to look it up, but you're probably right. I think you're right. And da, 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 da. I think that's it on those. So these will all go. Oh yeah, these would be fun for wire wrapping. Um, I'm gonna slide those over to Elaine's pile. They're fun just to play with. I'm, I'm, I'm testing them to see if I can play with them on my ASMR channel. Like, I don't know. Maybe I'll play with them on ASMR channel before I give them to my sister, because they're fun. Okay, I'll play with those later. <laughs> You're like, okay, Margaret, move on, move on. We wanna see the jewelry. All right, so we've got, um, oh, hey, 77 friends. Yeah, go over there and hit the thumbs up. Thank you, Jennifer. Hello. Aren't they pretty, Dawn? Okay. Next up, now this jar has got a lot of just like this stuff. And you know how I feel about wiry things like this. It's just a mess, right? I found a similar last night, a silver cross. Oh, nice. Okay, what have we, what have we? So, I'm just looking here, cause that looks like a silver fastener. But, I mean, I'm just gonna put this stuff. However, look at these ones. These glass beads are nice. They have that look of uh, Labradorite. They're, they're not though, but they look like it. I love Labradorite a lot. Some more little stone beads. Let me pluck out some of these to put in my sister's pile. Boop, boop, boop. There's lots of little charms in here. Wow, okay. Okay, okay. I may have to bring the whole tray back over in a second. Okay, so those are going to my sister. Look at how dirty my fingers are getting already. Wow, mess. Okay, so here's something else that was in there. This is... Something has got stuff written on it, which I like. So it makes it seem fancy, right? Okay, let's open up the mystery bag and see what's in there. My grandmother did this, so it was really nice because after, you know, when she passed away, she had little notes written on pieces of paper with a lot of her jewelry, which helped a lot. Um, so let's see what this says. Silver teardrop ruby earrings one missing stone, old silver earrings with red stones, silver bracelet with small diamonds and 10 assorted color stones. I don't think we got the bracelet. <laughs> it must've gone to somebody else, but let's see what we did get. Crossing fingers for rubies. Okay, so silver teardrop ruby earring one missing stone. Okay, so that must be the one that's missing the stone over here. And my my gut's telling me they're not really rubies. But if, at the end, we can pull out the gem tester if you wanna hang out for that. And then old silver earrings with red stones. These are cool, although this is missing the rest of the earring. These are, I mean, look at that. That is old. Shoot, that one right there. That's pretty old, that's really cool. Like, I would keep those if the other pieces were there. I would fix it and keep it. All right, so those ones, aren't they awesome? 
These I'm gonna slide back in here for now. And then this, old silver earrings, you get to come back in there. Silver bracelet with small diamonds and 10 assorted stones. I don't think we got that. Okay, <laughs> all right, so that's those. I'm gonna set that to the side and we'll pull out the gem tester at the end. How about that? Would that be fun? Okay, right, they do look Victorian. We've got some broken stuff. Let me pull over some of the stuff that looks intact. So here's a, this is the watch that we saw the side of, like that, from the side of the jar. And this looks like a really nice, here's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at how thin it is. It's a really thin watch. And this one is a Seiko, what does that say? LaSalle, is that what that says? LaSalle, okay. And let's flip that over. I'm gonna have to look it up, but it looks really cool. It looks really old. Let me see if I can wind it. I don't know if it's a, a windy watch or a, oops, or if it's a battery watch. It's not ticking when I wind it. So I'll have to do a, um, I'll have to just do a little research on that one. Okay. So let's see what else we've got. Can you my sister? Yeah, my, I don't know. You know, you love your sister. Let's see, I'm looking in the chat. Oh, nice, that's nice, Kayla. Okay, back through one more time. Okay, so these again, yeah, sister. <laughs> All right, so here is, this looks like the edge of the thing I saw, but the thing I saw was bigger. And this is really interesting. Hotel Casino, Downtown, Queens, Las Vegas, Nevada. Okay, and this is silver. Just look at the back of that. Okay, let me see what we find. If I find the mate, hang on, you can't see it in the light. That's, ooh, who wants to Google search that while I'm looking? That, oh, there's a mate. We are in luck. Okay, so there's their earrings. And then we've got, oh, look at this. <gasps> no way. Okay, so this is 1110.86, Donna. Best bet I ever made, Julian. Oh, I don't know if that's sweet or tacky. <laughs> I can't decide. Would I be like, oh, sweetie, you shouldn't have. Um, <laughs> Donna, hey, Donna. You're the best bet I ever made, girl. Here, just to prove it to you, I'm gonna get some poker chips, set in gold. Oh, nope, I can't afford gold. So we're gonna set them in silver. Donna, Donna, you're the best. <laughs> craps, nope, I wasn't playing craps, girl. Only roulette for you. <laughs> um, so that's pretty fun, right? Um, and the story, you know, is even better. Donna, Julian, I hope you stuck it out, right? <laughs> if you didn't, then yeah, okay. But these, these, these um, chips, listen, they're, uh, they're, what you call it? They're, I mean, they're textured, but there's a name for that. Anyway, <laughs> since they're in my hand, you guess they're not together anymore. <laughs> Right? She's like, that's it, Julian. I'll show you. Snap it off her neck. <laughs> We're through. All right. <laughs> we'll have to look those up. All right. Um, oh, I'm really far behind in the chat. I wonder if the day... Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe they're not together anymore. I, I'm, I think so. Okay, so next, I'm not sure what to make of this. Hello, hello. Um, so we've got these little hands, right, with what look like, you know how they do the henna on them or something like that? So <laughs> thanks, Diane. <laughs> and they've got these little bells, but then when you open it, it's like a little picture album, but there's no pictures. So I've never seen anything like this before. You know, I love that. I love it when I've never seen anything like this before. So I, I don't know. I don't know what to do with that. I'm gonna set that to the side because I'll have to look that up. All right, we've got more beads. Let's see. I think Julian and Donna are gonna be the winners in this uh, jewelry jar for sure. 
We've got some more beads. Hmm. Those ones almost look like like little pearls, but they're not. Okay. I'm going to pull back the the tray in a second. Oh, Chrissy says, just looked it up. The Four Queens Hotel is, is still there. Nice. I'll have to... That watch is a good find. Sold on eBay for $125. Sweet. The Seiko or the Omega? Thank you for looking those up for me, guys. That, that helps a lot when we're going along. Okay, so we've got these cuff bracelets that I guess somebody could put, you know, a cabochon on or some sort of decoration. Let's see. Were they four queens or just queens? Let's see. Oh, it's... There's a four up top, yeah. Four queens. Las Vegas, Nevada. How about that? Look at that, I mean, that's silver. That's definitely set in silver. Isn't that fun? Who's like, you know what I'm gonna do? It's gonna be so romantic. She, it's gonna be so romantical. She does not even gonna know what to do with herself, okay? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get these one dollar, because I'm a high roller, one dollar poker chips, and I'm gonna get them set in silver. And she's gonna be so romanticized that she's gonna say yes. I'm gonna stand in the street. Donna, hey, Donna. <laughs> anyway, we'll move on. <laughs> oh, thanks, Crystal. Um, all right, so we've got some more junk here. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I'm pretending I know what kind of accent I'm doing, and I'm just going with it. <laughs> um, <laughs> thanks. All right, so we've got these little doodads. Um, I don't know. My sister makes wind chimes, too. She's really a crafty girl, so. Wow, she's getting a lot of stuff. Okay. Um, I'm probably nailing it. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> All right, okay, I'm gonna slide the tray back over. <laughs> Is there a Donna in Saturday Night Fever? I can't, now we gotta do Travolta, that's different. I don't think I could do John Travolta. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh too hard. Okay, so let's see, I'm gonna slide this because we've just got a bunch of, of little stuff here and um, we'll see if there's anything worth, worth flipping. Okay, so we've got this like button style uh, pearly earring. Donna forever. <laughs> um, man, you should, my sister, I'm, I mean, compared to my sister, I'm, I'm like a dud. She's hilarious. When she, when I get together with her, oh my gosh, it's, she goes all the way. Like she, like, there's no filter and no stopping her. So, okay, these little earrings are cute. They'll probably, maybe, you know, maybe $10, eight to 10 bucks on those. Um, this is pretty cool. It's on the back of like a, it's like mother of pearl, the back of like a shell. And I'm wondering about this part on it. It's kind of neat the way it's set. So I'm going to grab my, I don't know. Okay. Where's this? Hang on. Oh, thanks, Cheryl. She <laughs> missed your impressions. <laughs> okay, so this little, this is not magnetic, the little gold um, clasp on this. It looks pretty cool. I mean, I don't think it's gold, but it doesn't hurt to test it. You know what I mean? So I might put it in my testing pile just for fun. It's probably not, but just for fun. Yeah, right there. Little pearls on there embedded pearls isn't that pretty though i mean the gold and then they've done some sort of lacquer on top of the um onlaid it onlaid it i don't think that's the right word it's not inlaid it's onlaid <laughs> okay so i'm just going to kind of slide some things we've got these cute little beads rainbowy beads i mean lots of just little findings and charms in this one you know that somebody could use to make other stuff. I'm just going to kind of slide it around so you can see 
Stop me if you see something that you're like, whoa, what was that? That looks awesome. Uh, let's see, that was the other part of that. We saw some more of those. I like the side with the pearls. There's a cute little, little black bird. If you like random parts like this, yeah, it's kind of fun. You just never know what you're gonna find. Like I said, my sister's looking for all kinds of stone beads for some of the stuff she does. Oh look, here's a little owl, that's cute. A little owl charm. Sorry about the lighting, I know it's not great. Here's some more just little hearts and, what is that, a hummingbird? Yeah, there's a little flower there, hummingbird. There's another hummingbird. Yeah, most of this will probably just end up in a craft lot. Here's a feather. Oh wait, here we've got another watch. This is a Seiko watch and it's got the date and day of the week, which is cool. And let's see, it looks like it's missing part of it. But like I said, if you got the right kind of watch, you can definitely sell it for parts or as a repair piece and somebody will, will do that. Okay, here is our, okay, tell me what you think. So here is the golf club. The back is already engraved with Tim Morgan. So are we gonna find another Tim Morgan or will, you know, Tom Morgan do? You know, oh darn it, they engraved it wrong, honey. You know, I swear I told him Tom Morgan, the guy down at the, <laughs> what's the place called? Well, what's the engraving place called at the mall? Oh, I can't think of what it's called. They just must have written the wrong name, honey. <laughs> anyway, I can't think of the name of it. Can't that be buffed out? Yeah, probably. <laughs> exactly. Things remembered, that's it. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. I told the boy down at Things Remembered to engrave Tom Morgan, and he engraved Tim Morgan, and... I'm terribly sorry about that. <laughs> okay, look at this. Okay, look at this earring. This is really cool. So it's a screw back. It's got some really nice stones in it. This is pretty. Um, so, I wonder if the mate for that's there. That's really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna set that to the side and look for the mate for that. We have got, oh, we always have to have the bonus here. That is just disgusting. I mean, come on. You'd have had to rip that off your neck. Oh, uh, no wonder it's here. I'm never wearing that necklace again. It tore out my hair and Brittany's hair. Look, there's like three colors of hair in there. Gross. Okay, you can go over there. <laughs> All right, so more just glass beads and findings. I'm just sliding stuff over little by little to see what else we see. Uh... <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> All right, moving on. What else we got? These look like those little stick-on ones or that you would glue on. I'm not sure. Cool. Just randoms. More randoms. Those look like they're fuzzy. They are fuzzy. What are you going to do with those? I'm not crafty, obviously, because I'm like, what do you do with little fuzzy dots? You know? <sighs> I don't know, somebody knows. All right, we've got like a floral cross charm. Oh, you put them on your nails, is that right? They're fuzzy though. They're gonna like get syrup all over them because apparently I'm an animal and I eat my pancakes with my hands. <laughs> Shh, but don't tell. Y'all, I haven't had pancakes in forever. That sounds delicious. And I would eat them with my hands. Those little bottles at Cracker Barrel, come on. <laughs> I can't get enough of them. Can you try use those on the bottom of dresser trays? Oh, that's a good idea, Crystal. Put them on the bottle, bottom of little trays to keep them from scratching the top of your desk. Those are the cutest little, what do you call the things that you put on the bottom of the trays? I don't know. All right, we've got some jump rings, they're kind of big. What else? I'm just gonna kind of scooch some more stuff over. There's a baggie of stuff. Okay, I'm gonna twist it around. No, I'm not, there's not enough space here. Okay, we've got this other clip-on earring and I don't see the mate for it either, but it's a nice little clip-on dome. All right, that's nice. And this hoop, 
Oh my gosh, you're amazing. You know, here's the thing though, because I bought, when I bought this jewelry jar from the Savers, I bought like five of them, five jars. So the mate to this earring might be in one of the other jars that I bought. So I need to set these like earrings aside that I really like and see, wait and see if, if the mate is in one of the other jars. So the, look at this earring, come on. It's like black and polka dot and floral. That would go for, if I had the mate, shoot, I'd probably sell those for 20 bucks. Those are awesome, at least. They're unique, that's the thing. All right, we've got some more just randoms. I mean, it's fun, right? Just kind of looking at all the random stuff, but I am trying to make money here. Here's some more Mother of Pearl bracelet that's broken, but it's a nice little, oh, totally could make that a pendant. That's a good idea. What else have we got? I'm looking in the chat real fast. Um, some little, these are like those laser cut pieces of wood. Those are some little leaves. Those are cute. Some chain. This is for, you know, if you've got like the dollhouse that you're making that, you know, you have to have the the chains for the dungeon, right? If you, you're making a dungeon in your dollhouse, I don't know. I'm trying to think of some reason. It, I know it's for jewelry. I'm just joking. All right, so this is really pretty. I like this flower with these roses. Again, I'm sorry, my light's really bad right now. And what is that? I think we've kind of gone through everything. Everything else is just kind of more of the same kind of stuff. I always look at these because this is the style that Pandora makes. So I look around the edges to see if they're marked. And these ones aren't, but they're still pretty. Yeah, so this jewelry jar... I mean, we're gonna make the money back on it. There's a lot of stuff that's going to a craft lot. There's a lot of stuff that's going to, hang on, let me slide this out of the way, to my sister. But then we did find some really cool stuff. I mean, come on. We'll never forget the time we spent with Donna and Julian. And we'll have to look up this awesome, I mean, seriously, is it one of a kind? Do you think he made it? Do you think they sold it there? This is just incredible. I, I'm just wondering, like, who's wearing this? <laughs> and why, and Julian, come on. Diamonds are a girl's best friend, not $1 poker chips. <laughs> These are great, though. These are amazing. I love them. Okay, so we'll find out about that. Um, the watches are another thing that are going to do, I think, okay. Uh, the M or W, this is pretty cool. You think he got it custom made? He's a romantic. What did I tell you, mother? He is a romantic. Look what he did. Just look at it. <laughs> None of the other girls are going to have this on the boardwalk. No, they are not. So, <laughs> so that is my pile, my, my small pile of treasure. And... I mean, there's a few other little things that I'm going to sell. These earrings, the, the orange necklace. But pretty much everything else is going to be... So there we go. That's all my pile that I'm going to sell from the jar. Everything else is either going to be going into a craft lot, going to my sister. Um, this is something I'm going to look a little closer at. It's pretty cool. I, I bet I could put a nice chain on that. That would probably sell because that's pretty cool too. And... Boy, do I ever wish that the, that this, like, I don't know, Edwardian maybe, Victorian earring had the back or the rest of it, but I'm going to still look. I'm going to look through this careful, and I'm also going to do, you know, when I do the other jars, I'm going to look for it, even though it's already in this bag. So... That's what he brought her back. She didn't even go with him to Las Vegas, Nevada. That's right. Can you believe it? <laughs> he promised to take me on our, what is this, 86? On our 30th anniversary <laughs> to, to go. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. And um, let's see, what do you get on your on the average for your craft lots? Kimberly's asking. Let's see, I've only sold a couple, honestly, which is why I have such a giant pile over here. And I've only kind of done it by weight. <sighs> yeah, no, I mean, like, and I've done a few where I've spread stuff out and gotten about like 15 or 20 bucks. But 
Honestly, I don't want to spread this stuff out. I just want to do it by weight and just say, here, somebody take it. But, you know, another option is we are, you know, like I said, my, we're going to be having a garage sale. So it might be something I just bag up and put on the garage sale. $10 a bag. Somebody take this stuff. Uh, so there's that. Yeah. I'm just taking up so much space, though. I've got to do something with it. All right. Everybody, say goodnight to Donna and Julian and wish them the best on their silver anniversary. How long was 86? That wasn't, yeah, anyway. <laughs> All right, I hope they're still together, but it doesn't look good for, for Donna and Julianne. Okay, have a great evening, everybody. Thank you so much for coming to hang out. And uh, if you're new here and you haven't caught the live jewelry unboxings and all that stuff, I hope you still respect me in the morning and I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bye, everybody.